Hi, my name is Candy Squilla, and I'm one of the special education parent liaisons for the district. I've also been associated with CPAC for 20 years. I have been asked to give a brief history of this organization. In the late 1980s, the Texas Education Agency mandated that all school districts have a special education advisory group, which would be made up of parents and staff. Round Rock ISD named this group Special Education Advisory Council, or CPAC. At the time, there was just a handful of moms and the director of special education to make up CPAC. They met three or four times a year in the Round Rock ISD boardroom, which is no longer there, primarily to have a gripe session to let the special education director know what wasn't going well in the education process with our students receiving services. There was a president, a vice president, secretary, secretary and members at large. The secretary did take minutes, but not much else was accomplished. The Texas Education Agency eventually got rid of that mandate, but Round Rock ISD felt that it was necessary to keep our CPAC. As Round Rock began to grow and people moved here from other districts outside of Texas, this council began to take on a new feel. We will be forever grateful to Linda Litzinger for bringing us many good ideas from Minnesota. We began to look at ways this council could support our parents, as well as provide valuable information to the special ed staff. We will also be forever grateful to Ken and Margaret Holloway as they led this council to model the PTA format. They were also instrumental in pursuing our new superintendent and special ed director for money to support a CPAC newsletter and create a paid special ed parent liaison position for Round Rock ISD. This position was created in May of 2000 and has since grown to two positions. The council created bylaws that continue to guide the committee to this day. Because of the dedication of CPAC and its members, many goals have been accomplished. One in particular is the collaboration of the council the adaptive PE lead, who was Jan Sarton at the time, and the special ed director to create Partners in PE. Partners in PE is a class that enables students in the general education sector the opportunity to become peer helpers in a reverse inclusion setting as a peer mentor and role model while working with students with unique abilities in the adaptive PE setting. There is also a CPAC Facebook page, an updated parent handbook available in two languages and an electric newsletter that goes out each month. CPAC has always been committed to having a council that is diversified in disabilities, equal representation across the district and parents of a variety of ages of students and ethnicities. All our gatherings are open to the public and all are welcome. With the support of our superintendent and our executive director of special education 504, CPAC continues to be a place where parents of students with special needs can come for answers and support. CPAC has helped many other districts kickstart their own CPACs. We also plan to expand our support to teachers and other SPED staff by offering trainings and open invitations to all our events and meetings. Finally, I ask that if you know of a parent who has a child receiving special ed services, I encourage you to have them join CPAC they will be glad they did. Thank you.